Greetings. This is Professor David Koilpillai, a faculty member in the Department of Electrical Engineering at IIT Madras. Thank you very much for your interest in the online course Multi-Rate Digital Signal Processing or Multi-Rate DSP. I'm indeed happy to be your instructor for this online course. Through this video, I would like to share with you some information about the course. This course, Multi-Rate DSP, has been offered multiple times at IIT Madras as a postgraduate course and for final year undergraduate students who are specializing in communications and signal processing. The contents of this online course have been framed based on inputs from experts in the DSP area. Today, DSP is employed in a number of appliances that we use every day. For example, your cell phone uses DSP for different applications, applications such as uh, voice coding and compression, generation of ringtones, for processing the camera uh, functions, for recording and playback of videos, for noise cancellation in your headphones, and the list goes on. All of these are applications of DSP. Then what is multi-rate DSP? Multi-rate DSP is a study of systems where we handle signals of different sampling rates or where there is a sampling rate conversion is involved. One of the fundamental concepts that you would have covered in the basic course in DSP is Nyquist sampling of band limited signals used for conversion from continuous time to discrete time and vice versa. Now, uh, when we look, for example, if we look at uh, audio signals up to 20 kilohertz, the Nyquist sampling rate requires us to use 40 kilohertz as a sampling rate. But uh, in practice, in the compact discs, we use a sampling rate of 44.1 kilohertz. Similarly, in advanced audio coding, we use sampling rates up to 96 kilohertz. So, we see that in many applications, the, we use the oversampling factors, so anywhere from 2 times oversampling to 16 times oversampling. Now, when working with oversampled signals for operations such as filtering or for storage, it may be more efficient to do a sampling rate conversion. And this necessitates the study of the branch of DSP that we refer to as multi-rate DSP. Many applications of signal processing in communication systems such as software defined radio leverage multi-rate techniques such as uh, filtering for filtering and sampling rate conversion needed to provide a flexible architecture. In this course, we will study several of the basic tools of multi-rate DSP and their applications. Topics such as multi-rate filter banks, orthogonal frequency division multiplexing, which is the modulation that is used in Wi-Fi and in 4G, 5G cellular systems. We will establish the link between OFDM and multi-rate filters. And then we will also look at the link between multi-rate filters and uh, wavelets. Also explore the applications of DSP in oversampled A to D6 systems, referred to as Delta Sigma A to D converters. In short, this course will cover the a wide range of interesting multi-rate DSP tools, theory and applications. A prerequisite for this course will be a basic course in DSP done at the undergraduate level. Spanning a period of 12 weeks, this course is broken into 12 units, each of which will have assignments and uh, simulation ex ex experiments, which will reinforce the concepts that are being covered in the lectures. I warmly welcome each one of you to the online course on Multi-Rate DSP. I hope to see you as a participant in the course. For any additional information, please email me at davidk at iitm.ac.in. Thank you very much.